Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to remove bloatware from MX Linux. It means you can uninstall unwanted application using terminal. There are other ways, but I prefer to use terminal to remove or install programs. So let's see how you can do this. When you will install MX Linux on your system, you will see a lot of pre-installed applications like LibreOffice, Thunderbird Mail Client, GIMP and Image Editing Program then hex chat a chat application and many other application applications so here you can see if i go to start menu under mx tools you can see a lot of applications then we have under multimedia we have asunder cd reaper audacity uh, actually audacity was installed by me then we have gmtp guv c view and some other applications like xf burn VLC media pair and simple screen recorder these are applications that I prefer to install and then we have in under internet we have transmission thunderbird hexjet and gnome ppp so I don't want these applications so it's very simple and easy to uninstall all these applications under office you can see we have libreoffice pre-installed so let's see how you can uninstall all these programs so here you can see xf burn so if you right click and choose edit application you can see this command so you can use this command to uninstall applications you can see the name of program so let's uninstall this simply press ctrl plus r plus t to run the terminal and you need to, to use this command sudo space apt get remove and then name of your program that you want to uninstall if i go to start search for guv here you can see it is available and now if i want to uninstall this application i can hit this command now it is asking me to confirm do you want to continue yes i want to continue so i will type yes and hit enter this is how I can uninstall this application now if I go to start menu and search for GUVC it is not available it means it has been uninstalled so this is how you can uninstall a single application you can also install multiple applications or if an application has a lot of features like LibreOffice so if I go to terminal and hit try to remove LibreOffice you can see this error message package LibreOffice is not installed so not removed but if I go to my start menu here you can see under office we have LibreOffice we have LibreOffice base, calc, draw, impress, math and LibreOffice writer so you can use steric with LibreOffice name with the name of LibreOffice now hit enter and you can see after this operation 374 MB disk space will be freed so do you want to continue if I want to uninstall this program I can type Y and hit yes or if I don't want to un uh, uninstall this application I will type N and hit enter so now you can see abort so there is another way if you want to uh, uninstall multi multiple applications you can use this this command and now type name of your first program then give a space and then type the name of another application so let's go to multimedia and we have this xf burn application so let's try this xf burn now if i will hit enter you can see it is now asking me again after this operation 370 7 MB disk space will be freed do you want to continue so now I can press Y for yes and for no if you also want to remove all the related data of your uh, of the applications that you are going to remove so you can use this purge command to completely remove all the related files and other data so now let's try these two applications first hit enter it is asking for my confirmation I am going to type Y and hit yes hit enter 
and now LibreOffice will be removed completely. Let's go to start menu and under office you can see LibreOffice has been uninstalled completely. Now we have this PDF shuffler and QPDF view of application. We have orange uh, global time and some other options. So you can remove any application that you want to don't want to use. Like under multimedia we have this tool GMTP. A simple MTP client for MP3 players. So now I don't use any MP3 player, so I don't want to use this application. So GMTP. So let's use this command GMTP. Name of the application GMTP. Hit enter. Yes. And now if I go to multimedia, this application has been removed. Then we have this application. A CD Reaper application, uh, right click and uh, go to edit application and you can see this command. So I believe we need to use this command to remove this application. No. No, we just need to type a name. Confirm and now it has been removed now then we have the three application uh, these four applications gnome ppp hex jet and thunderbird and transmission i sometimes use a transmission it is a, a bittorrent client so i prefer to use this one but i don't use thunderbird hex jet and gnome ppp so I will remove these applications on for the gnome ppp right click and go to edit applications and you can use this command to remove this application. So let's go back. So I need to use this command to remove these three applications. So let's see if we have some other application that don't want to use. Under development we have this application genie a fast and lightweight IDE. I don't use this one so I want to uninstall this one as well. So we can use name of this application then under graphics we have some applications okay under mx tools we have this application iDevice mounter a graphical user interface for mounting and unmounting iPhones and iP iPad I am an Android user so uh, I don't need this application so I can also uh, uninstall this application so now I device mount let's hit enter let's see here you can see an error message unable to locate package I device mounter if I go to MX tools I do a right click and applications and this is the name I device mounter okay Let's try this one. Hit enter. Yes, now it is asking me for confirmation. Hit Y, uh, press Y and hit enter to confirm. And after all these applications, you can also clean your installation with this command sudo apt auto clean. And you can find this thread at MX Linux forums. how to remove software so you can see some commands and if I scroll down you can see in this these three terminal commands however remains my favorites auto cleaning uh, uh, cleaning options so here you can see a commit by Stevo since app clean cleans out the entire app cache makes a app clean may auto clean redundant so it means we can use these two command uh, two commands simply copy these two commands and let's paste it here and here is a uh, typing mistake on the forum so you need to use sudo actually I'll hit enter so you can see the error message here you can see command not found and this is the command that no, was not found 
to let's fix this error now hit enter to clean everything so after installing all the application you can run these commands to clean everything so this is the process of uninstalling applications in MX Linux if you don't want to use the terminal so you can simply go to package managers and you have these options uh, MX package installer and synaptic package manager with these two applications you can install and uninstall applications in MX Linux let's open the MX package installer first I'm going to close the terminal and here you can see all the available applications under audio we have Odysseus, Odyssey which is pre-installed then we have Google Music Manager and some, uh, some other applications so if I want to un I want to uninstall Odyssey I just need to check this option and now I can uninstall this application if I want to install any of the available applications like Spotify I can check this option and now I need to hit enter, uh, install button so this is how we can install and uninstall application using MX package installer then we have synaptic package manager which also allows us to install and uninstall applications like if I search for Karen Live here you can see the results Karen Live is a nonlinear video editor it is a completely free video editor I can check this option and if I right click I can see this option mark for reinstallation or mark for removal if you want to uninstall this application you can see, uh, check this option mark for removal and then click apply to remove this application so this is how you can uninstall or ins uh, install applications in MX Linux thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more Linux videos